Hey guys, it's Mr. Jack and Triple Zero here. Back with Automation the Car Company Tycoon game in the most powerful engine series, we're going to be building the most powerful V10 engine as of right now. We're near the final stretch of this series as there are two more engines left for me to build. This one and the V16. I already did the V16 like a couple months ago if you want to check that out. So now, here's how I've managed to get it this powerful by showing you the specs of the engine. So first of all, bring the year up to the year of 2020 to get the most performance, reliability, and everything about this engine. And it's going to be a V90 degree V10 engine made of whatever block material you want. And square the bore and stroke off to 120 millimeters, which gets it up to 13,570 cubic centimeters, around 30. 13.5 liters, and we're going to be using a dual overhead cam 2 valve made of whatever head material you want. For the crank car rods and pistons, you probably know the drill. Build steel crank, lightweight titanium car rods, and regular forged pistons with the quality maxed out to a plus 15 to get the most reliability, performance, and everything about this engine. For the compression, we're going to raise this up quite a bit to a 10.3 to 1 ratio. Cam profile is set at the usual 92. It seems like if every engine build is up to like a 92 or something. And VVT at all cams. For the turbocharger, of course, it's going to be one of the ball bearings with the intercore set to 5,650 horsepower right here. Compressor maxed out to 101 millimeters. Turbine at 91.5 millimeters. AR ratio at 1.40 and a max boost at 41.8 PSI. If you would raise this up to like, uh, whatever, max this out or whatever, you're going to reduce like probably like five tenths of a horsepower and you'll lower the to torque too. So the optimal boost would be set as, like I said, 41.8 PSI. For the fuel system, it's going to be one of a direct injection throttle per cylinder race and take running with ultimate fuel with the fuel mixer set to a 10.0, ignition timing set to a 79 like my V8 build. And the RPM went set to 8100 RPM. For the headers, we got no choice for the short cast headers with a dual exhaust. The exhaust diameter set to 203 millimeters. And of course, no cats, no muffs. Bring the quality up. And we get the horsepower rating of 3,962.7 horsepower at 8100 RPM. Torque at 2,689.1 foot pounds of torque at 7100 RPM. And of course, there is no knocking with this engine whatsoever. But we do get some reliability issues with the pistons, car rods, and crank but no torque issues with either of them, and there's no valve fault whatsoever, as you can tell by this graph. So in just a sec, I'm going to give you a hear of what the engine sounds like. While revving the engine up, I'm going to cycle through all the graphs in here, such as the power and torque, torque and boost, torque and efficiency, power and efficiency, and when I get back to power and torque, I show you the engine, like the front view, while it's revving up, just doing like some fake gear shifts here and there, and then just shut the engine off and end the video off. So right now, here is what this engine sounds like, and hopefully I can save Dodge and it's Dodge Viper while doing so. I don't think Dodge was ever listening to this. Damn it, Fiat Chrysler. 
So that'll do it with Automation the Car Company Tycoon game with this powerful V10 engine. So we got one more to go, which is the V12. I'm not sure if we want to extend the series out once to complete the V12, possibly making like the most powerful naturally aspirated engines or the most powerful leader per horsepower engines. That's for something for me to decide. If you have any other ideas, let me know down below in the comments for me to consider for the future of this series. So this has been Mr. Dragon Triple Zero. I'll see you in the next video.